Well, I can't lie, this is not the greatest video idea I've ever had. Basically, I just want to make a little video about the first CD I ever bought and just CDs in general and how no one ever really buys them anymore and how it kind of says a lot about you which CDs you have. We're gonna see how this goes and if it doesn't then it will be deleted the next day. <laughs> the reason I'm doing this video right now is because I used to upload every Tuesday. If you guys remember I would upload Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesday is just random stuff <laughs> and then Thursday was music. So there's still going to be music coming out in a couple days, but I just wanted to put this little video out there for you guys. So nowadays, I don't think people really buy CDs anymore. It's kind of already a thing of the past. Is that true? Do you guys agree? I don't know. From the ages 10 or 11, I loved buying CDs. It just put your love for an artist in cement, basically. It meant if you had the CD, you really loved them, you know? The first CD I ever bought, I was probably 10 or 11, and Speak Now by Taylor Swift. It definitely says a lot about me at that time, and it's really, really falling apart. It was love, very much. This is the first CD I paid with my own money, and I was so proud of the Actually, now that I think about it, I might have made my mom pay for this. No, no, it was definitely my own money. Because it was like... Mm. <laughs> that was my first CD. And, I mean, gotta love Taylor Swift, you know? So because of that, I also have a lot of other Taylor Swift CDs. Shortly after Taylor Swift was my obsession with Tiffany Alvord. And does she kind of look like me? <laughs> All right, as I got a little bit older, my taste in music changed a little bit. And I went straight from buying Taylor Swift CDs to Cage the Elephant. These right here are great albums. And right after, after getting these Cage the Elephant albums, I just didn't really have any CD players around. I didn't have a car with a CD player. I don't have any way to listen to these really. So now all my music is online or on my phone and all these CDs, I have more, this is just the sample I chose. All these CDs are just sitting in my closet and it's really, really sad. I feel like that shows my progression from an 11 to 14 year old rather well. I would really like to know what your guys' first album was that you paid for yourself. Um, maybe it was Taylor Swift also, you never know. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I will see you on Thursday with actual music. <laughs> uh, but until then, have a wonderful day at Marvelous Tomorrow. I'll see you next time. Bye.